The Kibera slum in Nairobi is one of the largest slums in the world. For its estimated one million residents, it is a daily struggle to survive. The rate of unemployment is high, and most of the population lack access to clean water and sanitation, health, education, and security. People have few opportunities to break out of their poverty, and it is the women and girls who often suffer the most. Against the odds, women like Margaret are finding ways to improve the situation for themselves and their families. Bo you do pesa kaki duarono. Taduarono mundo suma suma en kiko chupie kama teknon kicha temo to kanyal te demo makura bru rem idiren. Tonya lo chaka chaku beti mbenego. But too often, families see their girls' education as a luxury they cannot afford. And even those girls lucky enough to go to school still face many problems. As the firstborn in the family, I face difficulties because I'm the one to look after them when the mother is not around. Even it can force me to wake up at 4.30 or at 5 so that I can prepare them to come to school because they are still young. Sarah is a teacher in one of the few schools in Kibera. She knows that girls face obstacles to getting an education. For her, it starts with changing attitudes. Boys in our families, they tend to be given the opportunity to relax and to, to read, to learn. But girls, they are overloaded with duties like fetching water. They are also the ones who are supposed to cook and to watch the utensils. They are not given that time to learn and study at home. So that means now they will eventually fail. We need a lot of change from the parents uh, because the, the girls are not performing in class very well. The high incidence of HIV and AIDS among the population means that many parents look after not only their own children, but also the children of those who have died from the disease. Alice works hard selling vegetables in the local market, but she can hardly feed her family. So many children have been orphaned. By the end of the day, I end up with 10 children in my house. In the evening, I come with very little in the house, which is not enough. She knows all too well that girls face tough choices growing up in Kibera. If I have big girls, they will say, OK, all right. Mommy or auntie has struggled to bring this small flour. Why don't I look for oil for cooking it? And how do they look for it? They go and uh, befriend men around who have, who have little to, to, to part with. And so that is how life goes on. Uh, it is not a life that we as uh, parents may like, but it is the situation that is forcing us. If, if at all we can get away of uh, eradicating the poverty that is uh, around us, we would live like the normal other human beings. The lack of security in Kibera makes it even harder for women to improve their situation. The alleyways, or corridors as they are called, that are the arteries of Kibera can be dangerous and threatening places. These corridors are dark. There is no security lights outside. So it becomes very dangerous sometimes. You can easily meet somebody who is serving bad intention and can do you anything bad. All the shopping, buying of vegetables, we do it by the roadside. So when you send your girl to get sugar, somebody can uh, maybe go uh, touching her breast, her, maybe her buttocks, and uh, the child end up being raped. You go reporting that somebody raped me. The police come and uh, say, well, take, take us to the person who raped you. Will you be able to get him? You won't. Your effort going to the police is fruitless. 
if there was enough security in Kebera, our life would not be the way it is today. It would be better. Of course, you can't stop doing your business. That is how you meet your daily life. That's why we risk walking along the corridors even at night. If everything was in order in Kebera, we would live a completely different life. We would be able to increase our investments for better livelihood. I wish as the women in Kibera we may get somebody to listen to us so that they can help us to come out of the problems that we are facing. <laughs>